My name is Ruth Carter, and I'm a licensed attorney in Arizona, and I'm also the owner of Carter Law Firm in Phoenix. And today I want to talk about defamation. In particular, the defenses you can use if someone accuses you of defamation. So let's start with the basics. What is defamation? This is a state law issue, but in general, defamation requires a false statement about a person communicated to a third party that hurts that person's reputation. So what if someone accuses you of defaming them either from what you said, what you've written, or what you posted online? Well, there's three main ways that you can defend yourself. Defense number one, what you said was the truth. Um, if everything you said about the person is absolutely true, there by definition can be no defamation, which requires a lie. There's defense number one. Defense number two, is yes, you told a lie about the person, but the portion of your statement that was a lie is so insignificant, it doesn't matter. So for example, let's say you saw your neighbor um, do a hit and run on a child, and you posted something on your blog about how you saw your neighbor run over a kid with their black car and drive off into the night. Well, let's say that everything in that statement was true, except for the color of their car. If your neighbor's car wasn't black, but forest green, and you just happened to see it wrong because it was night, that's probably insignificant enough that that would qualify as a defense to a claim of defamation against that statement. Defense number three, there was no reputational damage. This is my favorite of all the defamation defenses, because what you get to argue is basically that yes, you told a lie about the person, but that their reputation is so bad that nothing you could say could make it worse. Now this is a defense that I love, but it's one that almost nobody can use because you basically have to be a modern day Hitler to have someone be able to use this defense against you. Because in most cases, even if a person has done heinous things, their reputation could be damaged if you tell a lie about them and say that they uh, kicked puppies or molested children or something like that. You know, you, in most situations, that will make their bad reputation even worse. So for the most part, that defense is not going to be available to you, but it doesn't change the fact that it's still awesome and technically a defense. So uh, if you have other questions about defamation, in particular online defamation, um, I literally wrote the book on this topic. It's called The Legal Side of Blogging, How Not to Get Sued, Fired, Arrested, or Killed. It's available in the Kindle store. Um, or if you want to talk with someone about uh, defamation or your online posts, uh, my contact information is below. Or you can contact uh, an attorney in your community. So. Uh, please be careful, think before you post, think before you speak, and be careful out there. And I'll talk with you later. Take care.